Most racing games these days have a pretty straightforward single player experience, meaning players have to jump online if they want realistic racing and more on track action. From Gran Turismo 7 to Assetto Corsa, racing against the AI can be a bit bland and simple. That is not usually the case with the Formula 1 series. Codemasters' F1 games normally give you a great race against AI, be it in one off races or career mode. Intel F1 22, that is. The AI is currently impossible to race against. Update 1.07 has started to fix the problem, as well as giving fans Portimao to race in time trial, Grand Prix and multiplayer modes, but there's still a long way to go in terms of making F122 a fun challenge. I'm Mark from Racing Games, and today I'm here to ask just what is going on with F122. A major issue that has been plaguing F122 since launch is the speed AI cars can reach on straights. This was not apparent in review builds, where the AI felt similar to previous years, but since release, players have been watching the AI simply fly away from them on straights. It's not immediately noticeable on some tracks, but we were losing around 8 tenths a lap against the AI on the main straight in Baku, making the race a frustrating and pointless exercise. Codemasters are fully aware of the AI issue and are currently working on a solution, with update 1.07 being just the start. In the patch notes, Codemasters stated, the development team believes it has identified the issue regarding AI speed gains on the straights. Changes to throttle application in this patch will help, and the team is working to bring parity to AI and player car performance. Despite the frustrations, we do have to give credit to Codies for recognising the problem and their work to try and fix it. We know this isn't an overnight job, and there's a lot of work to be done before the problem can be filed away as fixed. As part of update 1.07, refinements have been made to the response time of throttle application for players. This should go some way to make the AI catchable down the straights, but for now, what can players do to make the game fun again? Before we move on, have you subscribed to Racing Games yet? Just one click and you're on the Racing Games grid. Oh, and hit that notification bell too so you never miss an upload. Alright, on with the video. Firstly, there's Portimao. Originally released last year in F1 2021 for all game modes, Portimao returns for F1 22, although this time the Portuguese Grand Prix will not be available for career mode or my team. So you will be riding the roller coaster solo, but it's still a nice touch to bring back Portimao, especially considering it's not on the real life calendar this year. This is also the first additional track coming to F122, with Shanghai also due to arrive later this year. There may even be more tracks coming after China, which will definitely keep you all updated on. Then there's car setups. A lot of players have complained that the cars are undrivable since the 1.07 update. A big part of that is most people's car setups are no longer effective. We here at Racing Games have been working hard since the update, tweaking our setups to get the best out of the new car physics, so be sure to head over to racinggames.gg to improve your setups and ultimately your lap times. There's also no shame in lowering the AI difficulty just while the AI issues are being ironed out. It's something I have done myself this year, and I don't mind admitting that either. At the end of the day, if you're playing offline, you make the rules. It's all well and good flexing that you can beat 110 AI, but if you are struggling to keep up down the Kemmel straight, maybe lower the difficulty to 90 and see if that makes a difference. Before I wrap up this video, there's just one more thing I want to talk about. Codemasters, as well as bringing us the annual F1 games, have also brought us Grid Legends. Grid's standout feature is the Nemesis system, where AI drivers remember if you cause too many collisions with them and are more than happy to punch you into the barriers after one wheel bang too many. A system like this in F1 could be an interesting addition. AI errors are already in F122 as are risky AI manoeuvres such as sending it into a tight corner or continuing to ram you even after you've spun out. But to have AI actively seeking you out for overtaking too aggressively could be a real game changer for the series. This is just me spitballing here, and the current AI issues definitely need fixing before there's any talk of changing the AI. 
but this could be the radical change to the AI that the F1 series has been crying out for. What do you think? Are you happy to see Codemasters addressing the AI issues? Have you been forced to lower your AI difficulty to stay competitive? And would you be happy driving around whilst Lance Stroll tries to ram you off the track? Let us know in the comments below. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games, please like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things F122, and now I'm off to remove the target that seems to be on the back of my car. I swear I only hit the other cars once, why are they all ganging up on me?